Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Factorio and our bat challenge. That is the Bob's Angels Thousand Challenge. Now, this isn't going to be like too much of a major hassle. It is removing everything and it's taking it all up here and it's filling stuff up. They're filling them up very quickly. Like, I've got that, that chest there is already completely full, that warehouse there. This one, this one, and this one are partly full. This one's, like, getting there. I'm going to need more than this. and But, at the same time, we are soon going to be able to start using this stuff up. Now, this is not going to be a permanent solution to doing it like this. I'm going to need to have... Well, what what we do is you, you make slag slurry. We go we we start starting in on making a so we want slag slurry right there. Okay, you have this. You've crushed stone, sulfuric acid, and or slag and sulfuric acid. You you got you got two options with this, and then you take that stuff and you can use it here. We use it to make mineral sludge, sulfuric wastewater with coal. Uh, here we have that, we make mul uh, sulf uh, mineral sludge, more sulfuric waste water, and that's in the void. So it is, it gets turned into mineral sludge. Now we can do this with coal filter at the moment, we've got that unlocked. This one here, slag processing 2, it'll take a little bit longer. That uses ceramic filter, that gives us 35 mineral sludge there. This gives us 50 mineral sludge, but it requires a coal uh, filter. So once you've then got the mineral sludge in here, you come back out of there and you have that one. You can then use that to get copper and iron. You can use it to get lead and tin, which those are four products that we're already getting. So we don't really want to worry about them. But then we start getting things like silicon and ore we can get out of them. At the moment, we can make mineral catalysts with it, which you use for some other things. You can get gold and nickel, zinc and titanium, aluminium, manganese. This is all slag processing too. Chrome, platinum, again, incredibly useful. Cobalt and tungsten. A lot of these items are very, very useful. Not all of them. There is one here that isn't actually here, which I would really like to get, which is the aluminium. And getting aluminium is a little bit more tricky, uh, I think. I don't actually remember. Uh, this one, I'm, I'm literally just keeping half an eye on this for just, just a moment. Um, Chivalite ore. No, it's not there. It's metallurgy. It's there. Aluminium ore. So I want to craft aluminium ore. It's the oh, it's the chunks, of course. It's chunks. Yeah. Uh, so we have that one with rubite chunks. Rubite is probably the one that the route that we're going to take to get the aluminium ore. And you got purified, and you got crystals here. Crystals. Oh, sorry. Aluminium and manganese. We can do that through the mineral sludge, um, which probably our best option actually. So, yeah, do, do forgive me. I want that one right there. Uh, mineral sludge. This slag slurry here. 35 slag slurry and 50 purified water gives 35 mineral sludge and some sulfuric waste water. So we get 35 for 35 going in. The recipe we have at the moment is 50 and we get 50 coming in. So what's the advantage of that then? You get less sulfuric waste water, that's all. But I'm quite happy to get lots of sulfuric waste water because it means that we get lots of um, sulfuric acid that we come back and get. In order to get this, though, we do have to go through a number of things down through here, which we're working on. So we've got a lot of work ahead of us yet. We do still have a lot of things to go and do. Now we can have a look in here. So we've got 10,000... Uh, deliver 1,000 there, here, deliver 600 there, deliver 2,000, 1,200, 2,500. I've got material now being moved. It's being moved around. We've got some going into these chests right here, which is essentially just keeping this running here. Um, except I don't really need to keep it running. I've got all of the lead that's coming out that I need to use. So this, this is running slowly, so we don't have massive amounts of slag being siphoned off here, apart from what's currently emptying out of these um, big warehouses. Once those are emptied out, it's then going to move on down and mostly focus on this, and in order to... The, all of the rest of the stuff down here, that's all heading up there to the top. 
where everything is now going onto the belts. So that all goes up into our little storage section that we've got right here. And that all comes off of the belts and then goes through. So that should, I'm hoping, speed things up a little bit. The only thing that I do want to change is I want to come down and I want to switch those inserters round that go a little bit crazy down here. And that's going to be everything that we need to do on that. And then we've got all, like, we've got so much stone and slag lined up that we are going to, we're going to be really cooking on gas for... Right, you are you're flipping backwards and forwards, but you shouldn't be. You're putting both of them in here. Yeah, that's that's empty. That's that's emptying out. This one is. Oh, that that is just. I thought that was like rotating it backwards and forwards for some strange reason. Um, it's not. It's working. The iron is fired back up. Everything else is fired back up on the system. Is all good to go. Right, ideal. So now we can head back over to the other side and carry on with what we were doing over there. I've had a little bit of a slowdown on things over here. We're doing the orange science packs. And the main slowdown that we've had is that we've currently got no green coming in. There's the greens right there. So we have got a little bit of an issue with waiting on that to come through. There's not a lot that we can do, but now everything is running again with all that slag that was stopped. So like, everything is now moving how it should be, so we'll eventually catch up, and then there won't be any major problems. So we don't need to worry about that. This up here is running really well. I do just want to take a quick look up this way. Got 133 in there. To 167 in there, we are just about reaching the point of, we can't click on this at the moment, which is about reaching the point where Naphtha is going to start being let through the valve up here. It's not being let through yet, but that is already above 80% down on this side. It's not yet above 80%. Actually, that is above 80%. Isn't it? Yeah, 160 is above 80% working it 81.4 that's 80 percent you should be allowing it to go through hmm why is it not letting naphtha go through it allows flow of the input side is above 80 percent and that is 81.4 which is 81.4 percent it's out of 100 so why are you not allowing flow I'm not entirely sure, but it will do. I, I know that it will do. I'm, I'm reasonably confident that it will do. So uh, that's... We, we've, we, we've got fuel. We've got fuel. Well, it is actually... No, look, it is. It is actually now working. It's doing what it should do. We, we are getting that coming down through. It might be a little bit slow there in places, but we have got the naphtha coming all the way around, and the surplus is now being turned into fuel blocks, which is then going up to our fuel station up there and being made use of. So, again, everything is going tickety-boo and wonderful in here. The barrels down this way, where we have got our sulfuric waste water coming down as rapidly as it possibly can, and then it's being sent back up here. So what we've got is the empty barrels moving into here at the same speed that they're being put onto this belt up here. So the same speed they're being taken off of here, which means that we've got no new barrels being added in here, or very few new barrels being added in, and the loop is working as we would like. What we don't have is very much sulfuric waste water. We're going to be running out of that very soon. Now that's actually all right. I've got a mountain of sulfur dioxide gas in there, and... We have got our other stuff down here. Let's go and have a look. So we've got you in here. You're busy putting out sulfuric acid. Um, I've got the sulfur dioxide gas there. I'm thinking... See, I could have this and I could double it up and I could put it down there. So I'm thinking I'd be better off to stick nine tanks over here for sulfuric acid so that they are at least out of the way a little bit. So we'll drop these down here. We'll put one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So we've got nine tanks in there, which is our sulfuric acid. And so I'm going to need to bring that over. I'm going to bring it over to here and turn it around. How are we going to do this? If I go there and then swivel it, it'll actually go like that. That will work perfectly. I can bring it straight across there. It can go around that corner right there. And then we can go down this way. Now, I was looking on Facebook recently and... One of the biggest things that was being talked about was the desire for um, pipes to be changed. And this seems to be one of the most widely requested features in this game. Basically, you have this like this. So we can put down a pipe like that, can't we? And then I can put... So at the moment, it automatically will join a pipe and go in the direction that the pipe is placed. Yeah? Everything is fully automatic. The request is that it's not fully automatic. You still have the same pipe, but you... Well, some people were wanting uh, not to have the same pipe system. Some people were wanting to have... Uh, rather than it automatically joining on every join that it can, like this, some people were suggesting that it would be better to have a system where it doesn't auto-join, but it stays with the pipe, whichever one it is, and you actually have to make angled pieces, although I see that would be a bit, you know, you've got the pipe to the ground and then you've got your angled pieces. It, it would make life a little bit more difficult, I think. Um... Others were suggesting, well, you have it like this, but you tab. You press tab for different angles, or you can just rotate them like you do with the belts. Only the rotation would also include cross pieces, so that you end up with the whole thing in here. And I think this is a brilliant idea, because what you'd be able to do is, instead of having to have your pipes running this far apart, you can put them right next to each other, without mixing fluids. And what that would also mean is that in a situation such as this up here, I wouldn't have to worry about these two mixing together unless I specifically wanted it. I could go over it, I could tab it, I could rotate it, however. Um, I thought, yeah, there was quite a good discussion about it, about how this might work, whether you should have individual pipe pieces to um, for T-junctions, cross pieces, and corners, or whether you should just have uh, one piece that you then rotate round and also rotate through the various different iterations of it. Um, so your cross piece, your corner, uh, your T-junction, and so on. I like the idea. I do. I, I, I really do. I, I, I just like the idea of being able to run pipes right next to each other. It, it, there are a number of situations where that would be a lot easier. Like, uh, well, see, this wouldn't make a lot of difference. You could still run these two right next to each other. Uh, even if you did run them right next to each other. It's getting the pipes under the ground to go to the next ones. That's going to be where it sort of becomes a little bit more tricky. But uh, anyway... Um, that, that was a suggestion, and I thought it was a really cool idea. I really liked it, and I that is something that I personally would actually like to see in a future update in the game. So, we have made it as far as manufacturing our sulfuric acid. And the long-term aim here is to be able to make liquid plastic. Um... So we are looking at cellulose acetate and acetone gas, obviously, and we are doing that through the cellulose acetate mixture and purified water, which sounds simple enough, doesn't it? We've done all of this in order to just be able to get some fuel and then to go here and we're processing sulfuric waste water. Now, the problem at the moment is that we're now running out of sulfuric waste water. Um... If we go up here to the main process up here, I've got almost none left. And yes, I am getting a supply of the stuff coming in via not there. Uh, this process over here, not there. It was this process on here then, was it? Where am I even getting sulfuric waste water from? I'm getting it somewhere. 
Oh, it is this one. It's this process right here. I'm getting sulfuric waste water from there. I will also get it from this one. But we need to make the cellulose acetate mixture, which requires the sulfuric acid that we've been making. We need acetic anhydride and acetic acid. So we've got the sulfuric, and we'll be able to use that for a whole load of other processes as well. So it's a really, really handy one to have. Cellulose fiber is easy. Acetic acid and the anhydride. I need more of that. I need methanol and carbon monoxide. We know that carbon monoxide is really easy to go and get. Oops. Uh, acetic acid, methanol, which comes from cellulose as well. So that's easy. We'll deal with that in a minute. Acetic acid, fermentation base. Yeah, I was actually working on that over here, wasn't I? Right. And so I'm going to want to... It's expanding that one, wasn't it? Right, well, I've got I've got the acid over here. That's that's now sorted. And yeah, you you can tell it's been a a, a, a week since I've done any recording on here because I've completely forgotten what I was doing. Um, so let's just quickly run back through that fermentation base corn. We're gonna do it exactly the same as we're already doing. We need that fermentation base, and then we want to bring that down, and we want to start making something with it. Let me go up here so that I can run a little bit faster. And there's the fermentation base that we're putting into here, which is doing all right at the moment. It is sort of speeding this up, but whether or not I'm going to be able to make enough of that in order to be able to keep all of this going as well, I don't really know. I am wondering if we do need to expand this. I'm, I'm hoping at the moment that we won't. I'm hoping that we will just be able to kind of keep going with what we have right now. So let's go here. We're already doing that bit. That stage is done. So I then want to take the fermentation base and I want to make acetic acid and compost. That's my next step that I want to do, because I'm taking that the moment in here, and I'm making ethanol gas and compost. So that's an easy one that's being made in there. So I need to take a second lot, and I need to go and manufacture it down here. So I want some chemical plants. Is it chemical plants? Craft. Cellulose. Cellulose acetate. Acetic acid. It is chemical plants. And that will give us compost. So we can join that compost line back into here, wherever that compost line is. So that, that can be used up. And then we will make the acetic acid as well. So I'm going to go for a few more of these petrochems. Uh, electrolyzer, chemical plant, uh, advanced. Right, so I want 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 of those for now. That'll keep me out of mischief for a minute or two. And... Right, mechanical block one. Where is the mechanical block one? I might be able to go and get some and speed this up a little bit. That is in there. That's, uh, that's not mechanical blocks. Right. I know I've got mechanical blocks is somewhere. I'm just not quite sure where I've gone and put them. That's the <laughs> story of my life in this game. Is that I'm not sure where I've gone and put anything. You know, it doesn't matter. I'm not even going to bother. And I am, however, going to go here. I'm going to get rid of that copper pipe to ground bit. And I'm going to put the chemical plant in there because I used rather a lot of these. So we want to rotate that one around there. And I'm going to start it right here. I definitely don't want to be doing... Actually, wait a minute. Uh, what do we need to make this? A cellulose acetate mixture requires... Uh, no, it's acetic acid I'm making. Just want fermentation base, and then that comes into two, but it's only one product out. So I can actually put these side by side. So we're going to go right in here. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, and six, just like that. So I'll go into there, and I will go with catalyst of uh, methanol. No, I don't want that. Carbon monoxide. What am I looking for? Methanol gas from wood, bioprocessing, cellulose acetate, acetic acid. That's the one that I want right there. So I want to take that one and copy it all out like that. 
I'm then going to need to have uh, these up here. I'm going to put one, two, uh, three, four, five, and six up there like that. And then we will go and take power poles. We go one, two, and three like that. So that's going to put power across them all. I'll then have copper pipe up here. And I'll run that all the way along. And then I'll do the same down here like this. That's going to be pulling out the uh, acetic acid that we're going to want out of this one. And acetic acid, I'm going to need that for quite a like, there's a couple different things. We've got the uh, cellulose acetate right there. I need that. So I need the acetic acid to go into that. I need to make acetic anhydride, which needs more acetic acid. And so I'm going to need tanks of acetic acid. So we're going to bring these tanks over. I'm going to bring them down a little bit just so that they go under there. And this is where I'm going to plonk nine tanks of acetic acid. So big old chunk of it. That into there like that and a bit more down here like this. So there we've got nine tanks of acetic acid and I actually want to change that round a little bit. Oh, this is slow. Oh, this is painfully slow. I know that we, we have already upgraded our pickaxe, so we're actually whipping these out a lot faster than we technically would be otherwise. But still, this is this is slow. Uh, the reason that I'm just ripping those back out again immediately is because if you have a look over here, we've got that outfeed right there, and that goes along here. So I want to line them up right in there with that one. I'm going to bring this one back over to here. That's where the first one's going to go, and they're just going to like come down just ever so slightly. It's so that the middle of the tank lines up with this. I'll just get rid of that pipe. Put my nine tanks in here like this we have absolutely loads of them and then that one will spin around and it'll join on to there i don't need to do anything else there the only other thing that we've got to do now is get the compost coming out so i've got compost is going along on that belt right there so we're going to want to be able to join in with this belt so if i take that one out like that i will remove that one up there we're going to take a belt along here that is going to gather up the compost that we're going to be taking out of here. And it's going to go up there like that. Uh, I'm just wondering. All right, if I bring this back over here a minute. There's definitely compost on there, isn't it? Right, that goes over there like that. I'll get rid of you. Right, that's compost there. But that compost is only coming out onto one side. So let me just double check along the thingy here a minute. So that goes up that way. It goes in around here. And over there it goes underneath. And it comes in up here. It doesn't matter if it's one side or two sides. It's not going to make any difference. The problem that we're going to have... No, that's not a problem. I've carefully, the reason I've done all this is I've carefully crafted it so that the compost coming from back here takes priority over the compost being formed in this bit here. So that is absolutely fine. And it does just go onto one side of the belt in here, which again is absolutely fine for us. So I want to remove that piece in there. I want to take uh, one of those splitters that splitter is going to go in here do i want a splitter i don't need a splitter on this i will just take that straight up there like that and then i will have a belt here that will just run along like that that's all we're going to do and it's just going to side load it straight onto the side of this belt which is absolutely fine in the first place anyway that that is that is not going to upset or hinder or damage anything in any way shape or form so i'm going to put that over there so i've got a little bit of redundancy on the line and then we're going to take the in feed is going to come off of the tank here it's going to drop down to that point and it's going to go straight in there like that and join up there we go we are now making acetic acid and we have a little bit of compost coming in as well only thing that I've got left to do is to extend the collection point on it down here and just put that out like that and this is going to prioritize 
I mean, it will prioritize that side, the, the process over here first, uh, but it's still going to be a priority over that so that we're not going to have a backlog of compost coming up here and holding things up, which is exactly what we want and need. It's, it, it's got to do it like that. So that's making our acetic acid. Now, that is going to be a little bit restricted by the speed that we can work through this. So long as we can make some and we can keep advancing, that's all I'm concerned about at the moment. Once we get the guns and we're able to really expand, because it's not just the guns that we're after for expansion. I also want to be able to have personal robo ports, which is this bad boy right here. We need that modular armor. We've got to get modular armor. Um... Once we have that, then we can start looking at building our own robots and using those. Uh, we get things like the personal RoboPort. It's that one right there, which is probably the more important machine out of any of them to be able to get. Uh, we get all of these RoboPort hatches and, and various bits and pieces that go with them. Now, we've got the tech in here. Well, apart from the orange science analyzers, we need to be able to work on those. Um... Anyway, we, we, we've got the basics in here, so I am now making acetic acid, and I am going to be using rather a lot of that. So now we want to go back into crafting here, cellulose, acetate, and I want to go in here. So I need, I've got the acetic acid, that's being made, and I've got the sulfuric acid. I've got a supply of cellulose fiber from elsewhere. I need now to be able to make acetic anhydride. We've got carbon monoxide that we want to make. The easiest one is carbon and purified water. We can also take hydrogen gas and carbon dioxide and make it, mix it with purified water. Oh no, that gives purified water and carbon monoxide. Whereas this one consumes purified water and carbon. Probably better to do that one actually, because the carbon is the easy one to get. Uh, this is other processes later on that we can't do at the moment because we don't have the tech unlocked. So. Carbon dioxide mixed with hydrogen gas. Now, I'm trying desperately to make as much carbon dioxide gas as I can, and I'm using every single little bit of it, so I don't want to be using that up, which means that this is the option that we're going to go for. We need purified water. Now, if I have a look in through here, purified water in there, I've got 170k in that one, and if I look over here... I got 139k in there. I'm actually making more purified water than I can use up at the moment. I got saline water being drained away and just gotten rid of up there. So we have a, a plentiful supply of purified water. I'm bringing some of it down here. I can spread that on down a bit further and use it more. Uh, we need to... We need to up our game a bit with our... Um, what he calls in here. You know the what he calls. The thingamajigs. The radars. We, we need to get some radar down there so that we can properly have a look at it. It's no good not having radar and, and full vision. So if we just take a quick mosey on down this way. Which way was the radar? It's, it's this bit. It's missing right here. Okay, we, we got to work on that. I want to put radar here. I want to put a radar on that corner as well. I have three radars. I've got radar two, and I have three of them. So I'm going to bring that down here, and I'm going to plonk one radar down there like that. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.